Hello, cuties, and welcome to some unedited bullshit. Well, mostly unedited. I'm gonna do a little bit of it, but that's because we're going to have some gaps in moving stuff. So I mentioned, thanks. Yeah, let's just do some lawn mowing right now. Right, okay, anyway. Hi, I've had a very long day and I've worked. No makeup, I wanted to wear my new glasses, but they're gonna do reflecty things, and I think I look a little buggish like this, so we're not doing that. But I got new blue lights. They look bad on me, I think, maybe. <laughs> anyway, okay, time. Time is of the essence, because I don't have much time to make this video, but I wanted to get this going, because as you can get... Drop the camera. As you can see here, there are stacks and stacks of books and uh i'm getting rid of them i'm unhauling so this is an unhaul video however this is a different kind of unhaul um you see we're gonna we're gonna do it like this i'm gonna just no that's i don't want to damage a book but um <laughs> i don't know i don't know what's going on in my brain right now but this is what's happening so i have 206 books that i'm getting rid of um in theory <laughs> i may not get rid of all of them depending on how this goes so I uh, have a lot of things coming up that are going to be expensive and mostly I wanted to focus this on helping to pay my editor for Humane Society of Creatures and Cryptids um, and I, I've been paying her, I have paid her about a third of the money because in total it would cost me about $3,000 to edit said video. Uh, video. Book. Hi, this is unedited queue time where I'm going to mess up a lot. but. Um, I have about $950 left to pay her for the remaining chapters, and I have had a lot of unexpected, um, what's the word, expenses come up, um, and I'm also needing to save up for a very important surgery, um, which will be like $12,700. So, uh, even though I have a full-time job, it does not pay as well as people with other full-time jobs normally do, because I work in the grocery industry, so... It's retail basically um, so I am hoping to raise a little money and also share a little book I'm not gonna sing a song <laughs> uh, but what I thought to do is because I do have a Kofi page is if you purchase on my I have a Kofi shop there's gonna be a thing that's selecting the um, book unhaul where you can pick books that I will send to you. Um, if you're in the US, I can send that for free. If you are outside the US, I will need maybe some shipping monies um, for that. But if you would like some of the books that are here, we're gonna go through them. That's why this is gonna be an unedited, long, crazy video. I'll try to do them fast, but also I want to give you time to look at them. Um, but of course, once I give you the title and the author, you can look them up on Goodreads and see if there's something for you. Now, some of the books that I'm unhauling are books that I didn't like, but maybe you will, because everyone has different tastes in reading. Um, some of them are books that I have not read yet, but I'm, you know, my tastes have changed over the years, and I've owned a few of these a really long time, so it may not be for me anymore, but based on the reviews I've seen from some other people, and it just might not be a thing for me. Very well could be a thing for you. Um, so that's what we're that's what we're doing. Um, I'm gonna just go through all of the books right here. I will also have a Google Doc that is listed to them. Uh, I would like to see if we can try to pre-claim books um, just to make it a little more organized because if you're doing in Kofi and then suddenly two people want the same book it's kind of gonna be you know first come first serve because that's the only fair way I can do this. Um, but I can put it up a Google Doc just if it's a little bit easier for you to process this information rather than me just showing you all the books. But I decided to do it a couple ways just for ease of everybody who may want some books. So I'm going to try to put you back up on my tripod. This The, the thing that I use to hook my uh, camera to tripod is not stable. It does not, it does not work well. Um, so... We're gonna we're gonna attempt to it, it's supposed to screw in and do stuff but it's it says it's tight but it's not and I don't know anyway so we're gonna make our way 
with a very shiny face because I've been working all day and I didn't do anything to prep myself. So I apologize. This is just what I look like and you guys are going to have to deal with that. Anyway, we're going to start with this. Um, so the first one I have is Soul Swift by Megan Bannon. I got this in, not an owl crate, I think in Litjoy. Um, it does have fancy inside cover thing, um, but it's not a book that I knew about beforehand and I wasn't really interested in the plot per se, um, but so I, I don't know. If nobody buys this, I may still keep it and read it eventually, but that's kind of how this is kind of going. Um, we have Put In by Julie Murphy. I, I, was, I liked Dumpling enough, but I didn't like it enough to want to really continue. Um, but this is Put In by Julie Murphy, sequel to Dumplin'. Dumplin' is also in here somewhere, so you can get both. <laughs> but there you are. Um, okay, we've got... Into the Crooked Place by Alexandra Christo. I'm just going to start labeling books. Um, we've got both The Wrath and the Dawn and The Rose and the Dagger by Renee Augier. These are fantastic retellings of um, 1001 Arabian Nights. One of my favorite retellings of it. I just am like, you know, somebody else might like this more than me now. We have A Love Hate Thing by Whitney D. Grandison. Also another book that I really super enjoyed, but want to spread spread the love. Some of these I may keep if nobody gets them, just FYI. We have Magic for Liars by Sarah Gailey, another book I super enjoyed. We have Prom and Prejudice by Elizabeth Yulberg. Very cute Pride and Prejudice retelling. We've got The Brilliant Death by Amy Rose Capetta. Very interesting gender fluid characters in this. It's just been so long that I don't know if I have enough energy to go on to the sequel, but I really did enjoy that. The Merciless Crow by Margaret Owen. Also very fun, high fantasy, but it's been a while. Been, been a while on that one. Uh, we've got a trilogy. <sighs> PC cast, Moon Chosen, Sun Warrior, and Wind Rider. I have all three of the current books that are out. Really enjoyed this series as well. Um, but, you know, maybe somebody else will like it even more. Um, can't pick it up. Cursed by Frank Miller and Thomas Wheeler. Uh, King Arthur retelling with Nimue. I didn't enjoy it as much, but it could be your thing. Because I'm just not a big fan of King Arthur stuff. Then we have... Out of order. Ugh. We've got Kill the Farm Boy. No Country for Old Gnomes and the Princess Beard by Delilah S. Dawson and Kevin Hearn. Very, if you're into more humorous fantasies with a little bit more bathroom humor, you may enjoy this a lot more. I, I didn't hate them, but they're decent. Okay, hold on. Ooh, Cause then I gotta reset these up. I don't know. We'll just, we're just going with it. Uh, flight, flight or Flight, if you can see that already. Samantha Young, I haven't read this one, but Contemporary Romance, there you go. We've got an owl crate of Sweet and Bitter Magic by Adrian Tooley. It's got some sprayed edges and that's it. <laughs> sprayed edges is also signed. Um, I just, it didn't seem like something that I really wanted to read. So maybe you will. Uh, we also have Tarot by Marissa Kennerson. Tarot magic and stuff when I just, I keep trying to read and it just never happens. So I'm just kind of giving up at this point. We have Past Perfect Life by Elizabeth Yulberg. I did have to tape this baby up because when it got to me, it was like ripped, but I fixed it as best I could. Not that you can see, but I fixed it. <laughs> it's still a good, still a book. Ah, whoa, focus. There we go. Uh, but there's that. Uh, we also have Wicca by Harmony Nice. This is nonfiction about Wicca. I used it for some research and some stuff, but don't really need it anymore. Uh, River Keep by Martin Stewart. Has a beautiful cover. I, this was a cover by, but I'm just gonna do that. Uh, we have Love and Other Trainwrecks by Leah Conan. Um, we have Nocturna by Maya Motain. I think I said that right. Um, Tell Me Three Things by Julie Buxbaum. We've got The Forgetting by Sharon Cameron, which, no, this is the first book. For the longest time I thought that was a sequel that I bought, and it's not, because then The Knowing is the sequel. Anyway, but I don't own that one. The Sacrifice Box by Martin Stewart, same author as Riverkeep. We've got another Owl Crate. Um, this was Roseblood by A.G. Howard, who wrote the... 
uh, blah, 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 blah. What's it called? The Alice series. Untamed. No. Ensnared. Unhinged. I forget the name of it. Anyway, wait, is it on the back of this? No. Yes, it is. Splintered. That's what it is. Splintered, um, which I read and enjoyed. Um, but this is a Phantom of the Opera retelling, and I am just, I've owned it for so long. I'm not going to get to it. Four Dead Queens, another Owl Crate by Astrid Schultz. There. <laughs> I'm not going to give you all the reasons why I'm getting rid of these. Um, Lonely Hearts Club by Elizabeth Yulberg as well. We've got Wicked Fox by Kat Cho. Crier's War. This is another Owl Crate um, Nina v by Nina Varela. I love this cover. I just, yeah, I don't think I'm going to get into it. Uh, Virtually Yours by Sarvanaz Tash. I'm so sorry if I said that wrong. Sarvanaz Tash, maybe that's the correct pronunciation I don't know another owl crate bone crier's moon this one also has sprayed kind of bronzy gold gold sprayed edges uh, also signed all the owl crates ones are going to be signed because it's it's owl crate um <laughs> we have the arsonist by stephanie oaks okay we've gone through two piles now I don't know how I'm gonna do this uh, another owl crate scavenge the stars by tara sim which is a Count of Monte Cristo retelling, I believe, which I've never read, so. <laughs> Another Owl Crate, uh, Of Fire and Stars, Audrey Colhurst. This was one of the first Owl Crates I ever got, and I literally haven't gotten to it. It was like, God, five years ago almost. <laughs> Ink Mistress, which is the, it's a companion, I think, to A Fire and Stars, but also by Audrey Colhurst. We have The Glass, oh, I have both of these. The Glass Bear and The Cursed Sea by Lauren De Stefano. Oh gosh, this is, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know. Uh, we have The Darkest Star and The Burning Shadow by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Uh, trilogy time. I don't know if these are in the right order. Nope, I think it goes this way. We've got Incarnate, Asunder, and Infinite by Jody Meadows. I've just, I've again, owned, a lot of these are owned a long time. Oh, God. We've got Lifelike and Deviate by Jay Kristoff. Why is, I just noticed this one actually has a cover, and this one is just a hardcover printed on. I don't know. I don't know why that is. All right. Somebody might scream at me for this, but I'm just, I'm not going to read them. Oh, they're so out of order, too, so they don't look as pretty, but... This is the collector's edition L.G. Smith books, the nine book set. Um, they're out of order right now, but I, I just don't think I'm going to be getting to these. So we're just going to put them there. <sighs> okay, we're going to, I'm going to run out of room doing this. Okay, we're just, let's just keep going. Uh, we have Origin by Jessica Corey. There we go. <laughs> Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi. A Secret History of Witches by Louisa Morgan. We've got a bunch of Catherine Rees, which, oh no, just these two. So we've got The Bronte Plot by Catherine Rees and The Printed Letter Bookshop by Catherine Rees as well. Then we have Devil in Ohio by Daria Palatin. Palatin. I'm not sure. World After by Suzanne A, uh, or Suzanne A, uh, and uh, this is a sequel, I think Angel Fall, yeah, Angel Fall is the first one, and I got this, like, uh, for a dollar, and I thought, I'll just get it, but then I cannot find the first book, so there's that. Um, the Glass Town Game by Catherine M. Valenti, which is, like, kind of Jane Austen as kids thing. Not Jane Austen, oh my god, Charlotte Bronte, the Bronte sisters, I'm fine. Uh, the Hating Game by Sally Thorne. We've got What If It's Us by Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera. We have Meet Me at the Cupcake Cafe by Jenny Colgan. Actually, we have a lot of Jenny Colgan here. We've got My Very 90s Romance and 500 Miles from You. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. What to say next? Julie Buxbaum. Sorry. The Improbable Theory of Anna and Zach by Brian Catcher. This is... This is turning into a nightmare zone here. Bird Box by Josh Mallerman. Josh Mallerman. Uh, the Bookshop on the Corner 
by Jenny Colgan, and I have another one of hers somewhere in here. Okay, we've got The Dorothy Must Die Quadrilogy by Danielle Page. So, there, there you go. There you go. There you go. And we have The Poaching Diaries by Amy Alward, all three books. Um, yeah. Okay, we gotta, we gotta move inward. I don't know if you can move inward. I don't, I don't think I can get this cord any <laughs> further here. So, moving on. We've got Fierce Fairy Tales by Nikita Gill. We have Seventh Daughter by Ronnie Seeger, and I super enjoyed this. And I'm giving it away because it's an indie book and I think more people should read it. So if it helps you to have it as a giveaway, there you go. We've got, I don't, which one's the first one? This one. Burning Glass and Crystal Blade. There's a third book in it that I don't own by Catherine Purdy. We've got Mark's Woman and Mahimata by Rati Merota. I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing the names wrong. Uh, we've got Cruel Beauty is the first one. And then Crimson Bound by Rosamund Hodge. Then we have, I don't know the first one of this one either. That sounded like da 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 Inspector Gadget. <laughs> um, I can't tell you. Oh, wait, no. Spindlefire is the first one. Spindlefire Winter Glass by Lexa Hillier. Um, then we've got Rain of Shadows, Rise of Fire. Yes. It's trying to remember who's first. Who's on first? I'm pretty sure it's Rain of Shadows, Rise of Fire uh, by Sophie Jordan. We then have, I'm so sorry, Spence. Spence, don't kill me. <laughs> Spence, don't, don't kill me. It is the Sabriel saga. There's five books in it. I don't know. The series. <laughs> uh, the entirety of it by Garth Nix. Ugh, there we go. We then have The Girl of Fire and Thorns I have in hardcover and then Bitter Kingdom and Crown of Embers in paperback. So there you go. Then we have another book. I don't know what's the first one. What's the first one? Maybe it's Winner's Curse? Winner's Crime, Winner's Kiss by Marie Rutkowski. Might be, might be that. Okay, we're going in further. Oh God. This is, I meant to put this all away again. I had it all neat and organized and now I'm demolishing it for this video. So I hope you guys appreciate that. Uh, we'll go from here. So I think this is a pile of books that I have read and I actually love. And these were ones that I'm like, if nobody buys them, I'm not going to be mad about it because I'll keep them. But we have The Loneliest Girl in the Universe by Lauren James. All right. We've got Love a la Mode by Stephanie Kate Strom. Very cute. There's Dumplin'. Cool. That just went down. Dumplin'. Julie Murphy. There it is. We've got Pride and Prejudice and Mistletoe by Melissa De La Cruz. Very cute. There's Someone Inside Your House by Stephanie Perkins. Very fun. If you like Slasher, this one, people may freak out, but it is Cemetery Boys by Aiden Thomas. Very popular book, um, and it was good. I didn't hate it. A Very Large Expanse of Sea by Tahira Mafi. And more Tahira Mafi, we have her middle grade series, Furthermore, and Witchwood, which was very good. We've got The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. I, I'm not a huge fan of The Book Thief, I'm so sorry. We have Meg Rosoff's Jonathan Unleashed. And we have The Smell of Other People's Houses by Bonnie Sue Hitchcock. Moxie by Jennifer Matthew. Whew. Storm Runner by J.C. Cervantes. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry for all the gaps in, like, talking and things. Uh, normally, I would really want to edit this video, but I work too much now. <laughs> so, anyway, we've got The Language of Fire by Stephanie Hemphill. Poetry. I do have some little markies in there if you want the markies or not. It's not a whole lot. It's only two quotes that I really liked. Pride by E.B. Zavoy. Another Pride and Prejudice retelling. We have The Siren by Kiara Cass because I'm trash for Kiara Cass. Um, all right, moving to this pile. We've got Everless and Evermore. Yes, this is the first one. Everless by Sarah Holland. We've got... The Rebel Bell Trilogy, so Rebel Bell, Lady Renegades, and Miss Mayhem. You can check them all out. We've got 
These Rebel Waves and These Divided Shores by Sarah Roche. Oh, we got a quadrilogy coming up. The Merciless by Danielle Vega. All four books in the Merciless quadrilogy. I'm losing space here to even grab this stuff. All right, we've got a trilogy. Before She Ignites, As She Ascends, When She Reigns by Jody Meadows. Yes. Duology. We've got The Cerulean and The Alcazar by Amy Ewing. Let's see, we've got not a duology, but the first two books in the series. We have Unearthly and Hallowed by Cynthia Hand. Oh boy. Okay, more books that I read. The Octonomy by Trevor Allen Forrest. Oh god. The Worst Best Man by Mia Sosa. I really liked this. This was really fun. I don't really want to let it go, but I will if, if somebody really wants it, but the entire box set of the Mara Dyer trilogy by Michelle Hodkin, so The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer, Evolution of Mara Dyer, and The Retribution of Mara Dyer was a very good series. All right. Space Sharks by Thomas, Ian Thomas Healy, Ian Thomas Healy. Uh, very quick read, very fun. If you like things like Sharknado and stuff, you'll love that book. All right, um, more, and this was an indie book. A couple of these are going to be indie books because I want to share indie love. Again, if nobody buys them, I'm not mad about that, them staying with me. Um, we have Canathrope, Vanessa Robertson. This is the Arcane Adventure. So Canathrope, uh, the Clockwork Emperor, and the Rail Spectre. You can also just go buy these people's books because they're indie people. Um, so we have The Healer's Love by Kara L. Rose. And also book good fun times, but if you want it for me, <laughs> really cheap instead of buying them, but support your local indie authors. Uh, we have The Martian by Andy Weir. I'm getting rid of this because I found a hardcover copy of it. So if you want a paperback copy, there you go. We've got The Paper Magician by Charlie N. Holmberg. Oh God, these are all going to come falling on me. Okay, big series time. <laughs> I'm only getting rid of these because I want the new copies. <laughs> I want the new ones. Uh, we have the entire Iron Fae series by Julie Kagawa. So starting there with Iron King right there. I'm not going to go through all, all eight of these that I own. And I don't even know where I'm going to put them. I've made a mistake. Okay. <laughs> There's a problem with having your bed here and then having to go in. We've got the Supernatural Enhancements by Edgar Cantero. We've got no more another indie. We have Daisha M. Arnold's Apparent Power and a novella of hers by, called Reactance, which is in the same universe. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. I'm probably all the unflattering angles, too. Another indie book, Natalia Brothers' um, Soul of the Unborn. Very good. All right, going back over here. Trilogy. Walk on Earth a Stranger. Walk on Earth a Stranger by Ray Carson, same author of Girl of Fire and Thorns. We've got... Adriana Mathers, How to Hang a Witch, and Haunting the Deep. Oh God, what do I do? I'm gonna have to like crawl in. We're crawling in, I'm so sorry. This is what we're doing. Okay, um, <laughs> Jay Kristoff's God's Grave and Dark Dawn. This is a signed first, oh, they're both signed first editions, uh, but I just never found Nevernight. We've got Wicked Saints. By Emily A. Duncan, this is an Owl Crate. These are all Owl Crate copies. That's her full trilogy. Although, I'm getting rid of that because I don't want to support the author. But if you get it from me, you're supporting me. So you don't have to feel guilty about it. <laughs> um, Kit, we've got Dividing Even, Eden and Eden Conquered by Joelle Charbonneau. We've got a quadrilogy. Zodiac by Romina Russell, which includes 13 Rising, Black Moon, and Wandering Star. I don't know what the correct order is, though. Something like that. Okay, we're down to two piles. Huh. Okay, okay, okay. We've got Hex Hall and Demon Glass by Rachel Hawkins. The Passion of Dulce by Julie Berry. Oh, it unfocused. No, no unfocusing. Passion of Dulce by Julie Berry. We have Forest of a Thousand Lanterns and Kingdom of the Blazing Phoenix by Julie C. Dow. This is going to kill my hips, let me tell you. 
we have Hocus Pocus in the all-new sequel by A.W. Jantha. It doesn't say it on the cover, but I know it because I have to keep looking it up because it only puts it by Disney, and it's like, hey, there was a real person who wrote that. Anyway, Undead Girl Gang by Lily Anderson. <laughs> Toil in Trouble, um, edited by Jessica Spotswood and Tess Sharp, which is 15 Tales of Women and Witchcraft. We've got Slay by Brittany Morris. Very good book. We Are the Wild Cats by Siobhan Vivian. I'm really running out of room. How am I going to get out of here? I don't know. Oh boy. Just keep going. Bookshop on the Shore, which is sequel to Bookshop on the Corner, but I had that in hardcover. The Evil Queen by Jenna Showalter. King's Bane by Claire Legrand. I don't own Furyborn. I could never, I couldn't find a copy of it. And that was in my days of buying books out of order. All right, we're on the last pile. We're so close. We've got Trial by Fire by Jose uh, Josephine Angelini, also Firewalker and Witch's Pyre in this trilogy here. Oh God, I'm losing it. We're losing space. All right, we've got Rebel of the Sands, Traitor to the Throne, and Hero at the Fall by Alwyn Hamilton. There's that, and we got Honor Among Thieves and Honor Bound by Anna Guire and Rachel Kane. Okay. Mm -hmm. We've got Incarceron and, oh God, Safiq by Katherine Fisher. And, oh my God, the last trilogy is Reawakened, Recreated, Reunited by Colleen Hawk. So that's them. Holy crap. Now I'm in a hole. I can't get out of here. This is going to be a problem. So anyway, guys, that's, this is the giveaway, not uh, giveaway, but like donate a thon if you want to help support me as a content creator, help me pay my editor, help me pay my new medical bills that are going to be coming up soon. I super appreciate it. I don't expect you guys to do it. Um, but cause either way, some of the books I'm going to be getting rid of, I'll just sell to my local store or I'll keep some of them because some of them I do really like but I wanted to share some books with everyone and get them to places where someone else will like them and in the, in the meantime you can also help support me through all of the little crises that I get to be having in my life. I don't expect anybody to do it though, but I super appreciate it if you can. Um, and there is going to be the Kofi link in the description box along with the Google Doc, which has all of the titles. Um, if you want to pre-claim things, just like highlight it a color. And then if you go to your Kofi, you can do your payment and put it there, but then I'll know, like it'll let other people know that somebody's claimed it, um, just to make it a little bit more organized, but I'll let that be edited by all, um, so that you can do that. Um, but yeah, so help me get rid of books, help me get money for surgeries and things and editors and help yourself get more literature in your life if you want to. You can also just donate, but like, I'd like to give you something in return for that. And what I have in abundance is books. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, yeah, I will see you next time, cuties. Reach me in the comments below or on Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter. Bye! I did it, but I can't get out now. Okay, I can turn this off though.